Hey, what's up, you big booty bitches? Breaking Brad here, and we're back with another episode of Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and we are descending indeed. Well, we actually, we descended a little bit, and then we rose. Um, now we're actually quite risen, but we will descend again, I assure you. Right now we are in uh, this person I'm supposed to kill, uh, Study. He's got a bloody hammer here, probably from uh, beating people up, as as bad people do. Very spooky. Oh, oh. Well, that's actually quite sad then. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Holy shit! Okay. Um, that makes me mildly uncomfortable, but okay. I don't know what those dogs are howling about in the distance. Oh no! Let's see what you have to offer. <coughs> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. What's definitely there? Why you gotta kill dogs, man? Oh, it took up. Oh my god! What the fuck? After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found amongst humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain including induce stress, which seems to trigger an <laughs> endogenous in in response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can still sense it. It reeks of cosmic genius. There is an inherent problem in harvesting the energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Fuck this guy, dude. Fuck him all over the place, man. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Doggo. This is just... This is just fucked up. This is why, this is why I'm killing him, because he kills dogs. You know what? I'm going to... Lay this dog, rest, pregnate him in his tormented soul. There you go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Almost got it. Dog man. Boom. <laughs> that was really cool for a second. Come on. Come on. Give me this. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I can do the little swivels. Little swooshes. Fuck off. Me too. Piss me off, guy. Alright. Ooh, tinder box. That's spooky. Regret opening that up. Just gonna shove all this back in here. I definitely don't want it. Go. There, all my problems are solved. Right, more to letters to read. Oh joy. For the disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its rel in its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subjects, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Really, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less 
I'm a hassle to acquire. What a garbage ass person. This is what outside is like, eh? Oh, this is dangerous as shit. Wow. This place is really good at everything, isn't it? Damn. Okay. Well, we press on, lads. Because this is what we do. We adventure. We explore. We throw things out windows. Never mind. Didn't quite make it. My turn, have I not shown restraint? Uh, my patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. But you did. You cockmunch. Okay. Uh, what's over yonder? Is it something spooky? <gasps> it do! Oh. Hey, more tinder boxes. So we're fat with tinder boxes now. And we still got this hollow needle, just in case we need to... Where's my tinder boxes? Oh, there's... I have nine. Whoops, didn't mean to bust that bad bitch out. So nine is good. Nine is an acceptable amount, and I will accept it. I will accept the shit out of it. It would be really shitty if I fell. Because I'm certain I can't. Oh. Oh. That was almost very bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, no spooks. No big spooks, anyways. When the uh, skeletons came out of that uh, whole thing, I was quite shook for a second there. All right. The guest room. Oh boy. I don't, I hope when they say guest room, it's just one room, so I don't have to. Uh, it is one room. What a pleasant surprise. My journals are gone. What would they want with my journal? Apparently a lot. Alright, well, okay, so, I'm assuming I'm the guy talking, I'm not 100% positive, but can you shut up, nasty ass? 2nd of July, 1839. <laughs> I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. I'm quite worried for him as well. Can you shut up? Come out. How? How? Can I light this? Oh, I can. Might as well. It's only one and it pretties up the joint, you know what I mean? Sometimes that's what's most important. Can I get a new shirt? I'm sure the one I'm wearing is dirty. I just ripped. 
walk through like a bunch of water. It's probably soaked. I'm surprised I'm not freezing to death. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? What are those pieces in your drawing room? I ask. Is this your drawing room? Door is stuck due to a broken. Would a hollow needle help? No, apparently not. Okay. Well, that sucks, so we can't get in there. Oh, I thought that was gonna be. Damn it. Well, I'm just gonna assume we can't get in there then, because I don't see any way we would be able to. Did he do one of his experiments in here? Really? I gotta do it like that, dude. Alright, well, uh, it doesn't seem. There doesn't seem to be anything else of use in here, so I think we should just skedaddle. What's that? Oh, there's a crowbar! Never mind. You're fucking stupid. Boom. Yeah. Come on, let's pop this baby open. Hell oh, yeah! Of course, the crowbar be here. Is it here? I doubt it. It's probably not. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. It is all too strange. Clearly, you're fucking with some bad juju. You're not supposed to be fucking with. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Intriguing. What is it? It appears to be some sort of syringe. Oh, it's a key. A machine room key. Hey, hey, hey! Um, um... What do you mean? Stop.
Really? You're not scared? What an asshole. Ah! It wasn't there before, you know. Wasn't. Definitely wasn't. Bitch. Alright. There is a little... Uh, oh, wow. These machines are complex. Methinks there might be puzzles. 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Alright, lads. Oh, yep. I was right. I, I done found the puzzle. Uh, fuck my shit up, fam. Let's go down here and maybe it'll give us some clue on how to solve the puzzle. Yeah. Open sesame. Hopefully that beastie isn't in here. That would be most unfortunate. This looks important. Why does this look important? Hmm. Interesting. Oh. More puzzle. I love it. Note that there are only two square pot rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure it to only discard the ones that are badly damaged and keep others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Sweet. Anyone there? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Survive that. Alright, so, uh, Sir Alexander tricked me. How am I even doing this? Tricked me into coming to his thing, saying he'll protect me, but he didn't protect me. Because clearly, everything's going fuck shit. In case you couldn't tell. Pretty, things are pretty not okay right now. What with things constantly trying to kill me, even losing my mind, and etc. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. 
Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. But what if whatever this thing is isn't the thing killing everyone? What if it's the Baron? <gasps> Yeah, now I got you spooked, don't I? I feel like it isn't a good idea to just pull on things. There's nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Oh. So I can just do what's this do? Okay. Ah, so there's the there's the cogwheel thing, right? So here's one. Hey, oh, I know where another one is. Back of that other room. Got a couple of spots. Refilled lantern with a few drops of oil. I can respect that. Gods know I need it. Uh, what if I throw a box in there? What'll that do? Fit a box in there? Appears not. Shameful. Shameful display. Alright, though. Let's go and uh, nab this other cogwheel real quick. Oops, forgot I gotta hold it. And there's another cogwheel right there. Isn't that handy? Fuck! Who would have thunk? Sweet. Alright, well. Certainly not making these puzzles too difficult for me. I need to throw something in the burner. But I don't know what. So the boxes will not fit. Specific. I'm supposed to check in there. Coal, perhaps? Need more coal. Ah, so it is coal. Alright, well, let's just throw an ass load in there. As many as we can fit, and then I think that should be good. Okay. Insane. Maybe I should like light a few of these. There. That's better. That's much better. Sweet. Sure. Oh. It just disintegrated. That's fine. I'm 
might. Because I'm at such a fucking loss here. I have no idea what to do. I might have to look up how to do this one. As pathetic as I know that sounds. Yeah, because I have no idea what kind of work it needs. I got everything in here, but I'm clearly missing something. Uh, I might have to go back to that one room with the stairs. Um, get something from there and then come back here. But I don't want to go do all that work just to find out that it's not what I'm supposed to do. So I'm probably going to look it up for uh, first. But anyways, um, almost 30 minutes. Close enough. I think that gets to the end of the mark for this video. If you like to make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So we can get that YouTube algorithm and surpass PewDiePie. And I will see you peasants in the next video. Peace.